Harper. So it is a pleasure to introduce our next speaker. Um, that is Chef Chu, and he is going to join us to talk a little bit about something better foods. Well, good evening. I guess just to say good afternoon. Um, it's definitely a privilege always to be here um, at Food Funded. Uh, Food Funded actually was the beginning of my entrepreneur journey here in the Bay Area. So I'm really thankful for the team, Arno and Cynthia, uh, but very excited. Um, Something Better Foods, we actually are a company that's uh, committed to the democratization of uh, healthy food. Um, we believe that all people should have access uh, to plant-based foods, healthy options. Um, my last name is actually Chu, as most of you guys know. And as I like to say, as I always say, going to give you something to chew on. And, um, you know, you see this little boy on the screen here, and that's me. And um, it's interesting right now when you read the headlines in the COVID crisis that African-American communities are having some of the highest rates of infection. Um, and so in my family, again, it's kind of my backstory. Uh, many of my family members, again, had hypertension, diabetes, cancer. Uh, most of them died before the age of 60, uh, which led me to create something better. And, um, and that led me to create plant-based proteins. Um, we actually uh, developed a product. Uh, we call it Better Chew for better texture, better taste, better chew. We say it looks like chicken, tastes like chicken, but guess what? It's not chicken. Crispy on the outside and white in the middle. It's delicious. And um, so we have, uh, again, we like to say it's one of the best tasting plant-based uh, fried chicken products, uh, all made from whole food ingredients, uh, everything from non-GMO soybeans, uh, whole garbanzo beans, whole, whole grain brown rice, um, every ingredient you can pronounce, uh, bite-sized servings for kids. We find that kids are loving our products. Um, it's been a hit. Uh, we actually launched in Whole Foods back in August of 2018. I'm sorry, 2019. Uh, since then, we have been uh, selling above category average. Um, our actual fried chicken product is actually selling twice category average um, and seeing a tremendous uh, just a demand for our product since the coronavirus. Uh, obviously, shelves have been empty because there's been a d big demand and increase in sales as a result of this. Um, the reality is, is that we're finding that we love Whole Foods and they've been a great partner, but we're finding also in this COVID crisis that many people obviously are not able to go to go to Whole Foods. And we're finding that there's such a great need right now for underserved communities. Um, we're actually in the process of uh, implementing and launching our direct to consumer business. Um, and literally in the next three to four weeks, um, we have the platform built, website built. Um, we're finding right now that many individuals uh, want to have access, but again, are not able to get a hold of it. So we're going to be shipping to uh, the West Coast starting out. Uh, one of our case studies that we've been able to do is a gentleman here named Hakeem. Uh, Hakeem was pretty much obese, um, actually went on our products for over uh, 12 weeks, uh, him and his wife. Uh, collectively, they lost 20 pounds on eating our products. Uh, their actual high blood pressure was reduced. Um, and they just saw a tremendous improvement in their health as a result of this. And so our goal is, again, through our direct-to-consumer is to democratize our products and make it an affordable solution to our customer base. Um, right now, we're in a, fu in a fundraise currently. Uh, we're looking to raise money right now to help increase our production capacity. Um, this is also going to, with this, we're going to be automating our processes. Um, and this is going to help increase our production uh, margins by 20%. Uh, we also are actually reducing our burn rate, which is pretty amazing. Uh, we're actually looking to, with funding, uh, to become sustainable. It's one of the biggest things uh, in our company is becoming sustainable. One of the things I would say success stories in the last four months, each month we, believe it or not, our sales have increased. Um, we're on a run rate now of almost 720,000. Um, we've actually increased uh, about five or 10% each month since January. Um, and we're seeing, uh, seeing more opportunities as we're going to go into a, a direct-to-consumer business. Um, lastly, um, we're seeking, again, 500,000. We've already got 300,000 committed. Um, with this investment, we're hoping, uh, not hoping, we're looking to establish a strong direct-to-consumer business, um, improve our supply chain, and also systemize, systemize and automate our production uh, to increase our margins. Uh, so again, we're excited. Uh, I love the, uh, the food-funded community. I love all the entrepreneurs. Uh, we're all one team, one family, and I just want to encourage everybody to keep fighting um, and let's not give up. And uh, I'd like to say my name is Chef Chu, and I'd like to say give you something to chew on.
That's amazing, Chef Chu. Thank you so much. I honestly hearing, you know, somebody go into talking about the devastating impacts of, you know, metabolic disease caused by our food system and then to bring such an incredible and uplifting solution and voice is just really welcome. So Jonathan, uh, please dig in. Yeah, um, great to see you, GW2. Um, Good to see you and, too, John. Um, an awesome presentation. Um, I mean, I, it couldn't be more timely for your product, right? As you look at the meat supply chain and how there's a lot of choke points happening in that. Um, yes. Love that you're pivoting or adding direct to consumer and, and kind of going to where the, the demand is. As you do that, though, how do you go to market and how do you raise awareness um, that you guys are doing that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we actually are committed. One of the things I found as being an educator is that we're going to use education as the key to, to, our, to our actual marketing strategy. Um, as we educate, 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 we obviously increase demand. And what we've been seeking to do before we go super hardcore on our social media marketing, uh, we've been building our operations. So when demand comes, we have the capability to be able to meet the demand. Um, but our strategy is simple. It's, it's just education. And we're going to be doing online cooking classes, um, everything from more intimate like Zoom classes to uh, live Facebook, Instagram uh, cooking classes. Uh, but our approach is a more personal approach because food is very intimate. And we believe that in order to create change, especially when it comes to eating habits, uh, you have to focus on a very intimate experience, that connection between the consumer and the, and the person behind the brand. And that's what we're trying to do when it comes to our market strategy. Thanks. I'm Jeff Chu. Thank you so much for being with us today um, and Absolutely. for inspiring us. Yeah, no, this is really awesome. And so I had a similar question just about distribution. And so as you do do um, more consumer products, I'm hearing that you're going to create the demand through education. And then what about distribution channels? How will that work? And yeah. what is that change? Yeah, so um, we right now we're, we're going to be starting focusing on uh, West Coast. Uh, we've actually uh, been able to work with uh, supply chain as it relates to dry ice, uh, box suppliers. Um, we found amazing rates on our actual uh, supplies to be able to ship again to pretty much 12 states in the West Coast. Um, the great thing about our concept is that um, we have a, a our, our pricing structure is actually going to be about almost 10 to 20 percent less than Whole Foods. Um, and we also earn more money per per product per case, if that makes sense, or so per, per per unit um, through the direct consumer model. So it's actually going to be it's a it's a very good financial model for us. Um, and we are also have the partners in place for shipping to supply chain uh, to do fulfillment. Okay, great. And then just the other piece is that particularly when. Um, we have people of color dying um, and more affected by COVID. I wanna just make sure that they see that they could actually buy a product led by a person of color who's there for their safety. So I just wanna make sure that everyone really gets the concept here that this is really fabulous. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah, and I, I think just if, if we could, uh, Denver, Jenna, I, I thought I saw a few questions coming in, so maybe just take a few uh, audience questions quickly. Yes, of course. Hey, Chef Xu. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you. You too. Um, so Absolutely. one of the questions, yeah, always good. So one of the questions that came through is, is the 500K raise on top of the 280 angel round, or is that the 300K you have committed for this round? And what yes. are the two of the round? Uh Absolutely. So we actually got a, a 200, the 280,000 was actually last year in 2019. Uh, this is a new raise we're doing, convertible note. Um, we've already gotten 300,000 uh, committed. Actually, out of that 300,000, 150,000 has already been invested in our bank account. Um, so we're pretty much looking for another 200,000. Um, it's a convertible note, um, a two-year term. Um, and so, yeah, so we have a convertible note and it's a 500,000 um, total raise, but we've already gotten $300,000 out of that 500. So we just need about another 200,000. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chef Chu. It's amazing.